hello guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe and like button for supporting this channel now we are going to solve this problem which says that replace the force f equals to 80 newton acting on the pipe assembly by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment at point a so we are given this 80 newton force uh, which is making uh, 30 degrees with the xy plane it's making 30 degree uh, with the xy plane and then uh, the f of xy component this component the the component along the xy so we will have one component like this and this will be the f of xy component then this component is making 40 degree with the y axis so now first of all we we need to resolve this uh, force into its components so first of all we will have this component which is f of x y we can write that this is f of x y and this f of x y will be equal to this uh, 80 cos of 30 if we consider this triangle this triangle so then this f of x y is 80 cos of 30 and similarly we will have one component which is going to act like this and this component will be the sine component so this one will be the f of z component so we we can draw this component here as well this we will have one component which is going to act in the negative z direction so this one will be this is f of z and f of z is equal to 80 sine of 30 degrees and similarly then we can resolve this f of x y into two sub components two sub rectangular components so we will have one component like this which is going to act in the positive y direction this will be f of y so this will be equal to uh, f of x y cos of 40 right so f of y is f of x y cos of 40 so we can say that f of x y is 80 cos of 30 cos of 40 and similarly we will have one another component like this so this one will be f of x and f of x will be equal to again uh, this f of x y sine of if we consider this triangle then we will have this f of y and then we will have f of f of x so then f of x is f of x y sine of 40 so we will write that this is 80 cos of third uh, cos of 40 this is uh, sorry th this is cos of 30 so 80 cos of 30 sine of 40 so we will write that this is sine of 40 now we can write that f of x is 80 cos of 30 sine of 40 degrees similarly f of y is 80 cos of 30 cos of 40 and then f of z is 80 sine of 30 so now let's calculate all of these so 80 cos of 30 sine of 40 this is 44.53 this is equal to 44.534 let's say in newtons since the, the the force is given in newtons as well then we have 80 cos of 30 cos of 40 so 80 cos of 30 cos of 40 this gives me 53.073 newtons and similarly this is 80 sine of 30 80 sine of 30 so this is 40 so this is 40 newtons so now we can express that force f of magnitude 80 newton as a cartesian vector so we can write that f vector is equal to f of x so f of x magnitude is 44.534 and f of x is acting in the positive x so we will write the here positive i so this is 44.534 in the positive y direction similarly f of y is also acting in the positive y direction so we will write 53 point so that will be plus 
53.073 in the positive j and similarly the z component is acting in the negative z this is the positive z direction it is acting in the negative z so we will write minus so that will be minus 40 k so the f of z component is acting in the negative k direction so we will write minus k so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f and uh, if we want to replace uh, this force f acting on the pi by simply by an equivalent resultant force so that this will be the resultant force we will we will move this force as it is to that point a so that will be the resultant since there is only one single force acting on this pi so now the when we move this force f from its current line of action to that new line of action or to, to that new point of application so at this particular point this force f is producing some moment about that point a so if you want to replace this force by its equivalent force coupled system at that point a we have to find the moment that it's going to produce and we have to represent that moment as a couple at that particular point a so then we will be able to replace this force f by its equivalent force coupled system so now the next job is to find the couple that it's going to produce about that point A. So in order to find the couple, we have to uh, define the moment arm. We have to define a position vector from point A to this point where the force is acting. So let's say that this is our position vector from this point to the point of application of that force. Let's say this is that position vector and let's say that this force f is acting at some point let's say point t so this will be the position vector from a to t so now we have to find the position vector from a to t so now to find the position vector from a to t we have to travel from a in the x y and z direction so first of all to reach that point t from a we need to travel 400 mm distance in the positive y so 400 mm distance in meters is 400 divided by 1000 so that is 0.4 so 0 0.4 meters in the positive j direction this is we need to move 400 mm in the positive j then we have to travel this 300 mm distance in the positive x direction that is in the positive i so let me write that this is we will write that this is a plus 0 0.4 j and then 300 divided by 1000 so that is 0.3 in the x so that is plus 0 0.3 in the positive i so from here we we have reached this particular point then from here we need to travel in the negative z direction 200 mm so 200 mm in meters is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 meters in the negative z so minus 0 0.2 in the negative k now we are here then from here we need to travel again in the positive x direction 250 mm so 250 mm in the positive x is 0 0.25 meters in the positive i so plus 0 0.25 in the positive i so now we can write that the position vector from a to t is we need to add up these two so that will be uh, plus 0 0.55 in the positive i plus 0 0.4 j minus uh, 0 0.2 k so this is the position vector from a to t which is the moment arm for that force f so now we can write that the moment the resultant moment about point a is equal to the cross product of r a t with that force f so now we can find this using that determinant method that will be i j and k and then the components of the position vector are plus 0 0.55 0 0.4 and minus 0 0.2 and then the components of force f so the components of force f is 44.534 then 53.073 and then minus 40 now let's find this determinant so for i we need to hide this and this so 0 0.4 into this minus this so 0 0.4 into minus 40 
minus minus 0 0.2 into 53 point 53 point 073 and this will be multiplied with i then for j we need to hide this and this so this multiply by this minus this and with j we always need to write minus while finding the determinant so i will write minus then we will multiply this minus this so that is 0 0.55 into minus 40 minus uh, again minus 0 0.2 uh, we will multiply this and this so this and this that is 44.534 and that is in the negative j so that is minus j and then for k we need to hide this and this so this minus this so we will write plus and then 0 0.55 into 53.073 minus 0 0.4 into 44.534 and this is into into k so now let's find all these this is the first term for i is 0 0.4 into minus 40 minus minus 0 0.2 into 53.073 so this gives us this is equal to minus 5.385 approximately in the i then the second term is minus uh, 0 0.55 into minus 40 then minus and that is minus 0 0.2 multiplied by 44.534 so this is plus 13.093j and then for k that is 0 0.55 multiplied by 53.073 minus 0 0.4 into 44.534 this gives me 11 plus 11.377 in the along the k and the units will be now since this is the resultant moment about point a the units will be in newton meters since we have considered the position vector uh, in meters this is the position vector in meters let me write it here that this position vector is in meters and this force is in newtons so the the resultant moment about point a is this and this is newton meter so now we, when we uh, if we move this force in its exact position from this particular point to that particular point so then we have to show we have to show this moment as well since uh, at, at its original position this force is producing that moment about point a so the the equivalent effect of this force f at point a is this force and that moment that uh, we, we, that is produced by this force f while acting at this particular point so by when we want to replace this force f of 80 newton by this force and that moment about point e so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibble Aesthetics.